G'day, Shane Beardmore from Fruno Australia. We're here on a Noosa Cat 3100, and today we're going to talk about Fish Hunter Drive. Fish Hunter Drive offers five key features. We're going to start off with the speed control function. So typically, you'd control your speed using the throttle. In this case, we come up to the pilot, we hold down the standby key, and the speed control is activated at five knots. Now the benefit of this is, depending on what the tide's doing or wind's doing, the system will regulate the boat speed. Now this feature is great for trolling, and it's also good when you're doing a long trip to regulate your speed, um, increase your economy, and more importantly arrive at a bar or, or at a, a tidal entrance at the time that you wish to uh, arrive. Now to change the speed, all we do is come back to the throttle here in single lever mode. Adjust to the speed that you wish to travel at and the pilot will automatically lock in at that speed. For those of you traveling a lot in restricted speed zones, the speed control feature can be a really handy tool. One of the other great features about Fish Hunter Drive is the auto stop on arrival. So whether you're fishing, or uh, a rescue organisation that um, uh, needs to communicate with another vessel when you stop, the, uh, the boat will travel to the destination uh, as outlined there and stop and hover on that point using the point lock technology. demonstrate this we're traveling now um, and we're about 500 meters from the destination and you can see the, um, the throttles are here engaged we're sitting on about 22 knots and as we approach the waypoint the boats can automatically slow down and stop and hover on that spot So at about 100 metres out, the system takes care of deceleration and will gently bring us up to uh, waypoint 007 there and we'll hop around in the point lock mode. So we've just transitioned into point lock. We're going to shift to neutral. So we're in point lock mode at the moment. Now each engine is able to shift in and out of gear to manoeuvre the boat on this spot. We've got a little bit of southeasterly wind coming through but the, the system's doing a great job of keeping the vessel on this point. For those of you that are familiar with the uh, Sabiki mode that's been around in Furuno Pilots for some time, there's now Sabiki Lock with Fish Hunter Drive. So what we do there is, once we're in our spot, and we can select Sabiki or Sabiki Lock. The benefit of Sabiki Lock mode is it will shift the vessel in and out of gear, whereas traditionally you'd had to do that manually. The other feature that we like uh, particularly fishermen for um, in terms of Sabiki lock mode is you can orientate the vessel using these outside keys so if you do want to come around a little bit further to, uh, to port or starboard Sabiki lock mode will allow you to do that simply by adjusting these outside keys here another great feature of fish hunter drive is the root smoothing feature so if you're traveling along at speed and you've got a route in the system and you make a turn, the system will actually slow the boat down, achieve the turn nice and smoothly, and then bring you back up to uh, your cruising speed, allowing comfort for everyone on board. So we're gonna follow this uh, small route here and demonstrate the route smoothing as well as the point lock feature when we end up at the final destination. So we'll show you how simple that is. It's start nav. Pop into precision mode. We'll just acknowledge the uh, the point lock warning, and we're away. So just like the Nav Pilot 711C and uh, previous models, you'll get a beep just before the turn to advise the boat's going to move left or right. So we've popped this mark just beside a buoy here and um, it's basically to our stern. So as we approach, we're going to move into point lock mode. We've got a little bit of reverse thrust now and 
just to our port side, you can see the marker buoy now that we've marked in. So if you're looking to improve your boating experience, take a look at Fish Hunter Drive. Visit your local Furuno or Suzuki dealer to find out more information.